Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell Inspiron 3420. The regulatory model for this one is a P22G. Alright, and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up, how you can clean and repaste and service up the entire laptop from inside out. And you should be doing this every few years depending the how many hours a day you've been using this one and it's really overheating, the air is not coming out and the temperatures are going up, you need to replace it as these are iCore 5, iCore 3, they do get really hot and they can slow down if they overheat. Alright, first thing first, you need to power off the laptop. Alright, the tools that you're going to be needing are as followed and all these tools that I'll be using are in the video description if you guys need it. For the opening tool, I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there. We're going to be using a Phillips number 0. You can get the pro version and they do include with an opening tool, tweezers and a few other stuff. But if you want to get the pro set, get the simple set and get yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening covers and cases. You need a curved tweezers. And now you need an alcohol, isopropolic or isopropolic alcohol. You need a workshop towel. Grab one sheet of the or two sheets of the workshop towel. And you need your favorite thermal paste. You can go with an Arctic MX4 or the new one which is Arctic MX5. Those are really suitable. Or if you want to go over the board, you can go with a Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut, which are really good too, but they're expensive. All right. With all this on hand, and uh, you will need a toothbrush, a uh, used or new toothbrush. It will do the job too. And now we can get it started. First power of the laptop. We're going to remove the keyboard. To remove the keyboard, we need to remove these triggers at the top row of the keyboard. There's one right by the escape between F5, F6, F11, and delete. So what we need to do is to push those clips back towards the screen and scoop down, scoop out the keyboard like that. Same thing on F11, push, scoop out, push, scoop out, and the last one. Same thing, push and scoop out. Before we do this, I forgot, you have to disconnect the battery. Go ahead and remove the battery. All right, now we can continue. All right, now we're gonna lift up the keyboard, bring it up, slide it towards the LCD, twist it, put it down. We're gonna open up this trigger by putting your finger in it and bring it up 90 degrees, just flicker it right that and then slide out the flex cable. All right, that's your keyboard. You can go ahead and clean up your keyboard if you need to. We need to remove this flex cable for the on-off switch and the palm rest for trackpad. Right here, to remove this one, it's really easy, it's not too hard. All you need to do is to lift up this trigger upward towards the ceiling about one or two millimeter both ways, and then you can remove the flex cable. Same trigger is right over here. Lift up from the both side. and then uh, lift up the flex cable. Now, what we need to do is to remove this screw right here. You can remove the DVD drive, and if you want to remove and clean it up, remove the other screw to clean up the DVD drive. And you need to put your screwdriver right in this crack right here, and push the DVD drive towards the right side. And it will come out and you can slide it out, and you can go ahead and clean it up if you need to. Remove the screw right there and the screw right over there. Once we remove all the screws up here, now we're gonna close it down, flip it upside down, and we're gonna remove all the screws touching the top cover. We're not gonna remove the screws in here. This one is a broken screw. We're gonna remove the two over here and the two right in here. This is the only short screw right here, the one offset. So remove this one, put it in a different pile, and now go ahead and remove the rest of the screws. All, again, if you guys like my videos, if my videos are helping you guys out to do your own repays, upgrades, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it, and it will be a great motivation for me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. All right, now once we finished up doing that, 
we need to open up the LCD. We can go ahead and remove the SD card reader from the front. Now what you need to do is to scoop up the palm rest up. So put it right there, the opening tool, and just scoop it out and work yourself to the back corner, do the front side, and do the left side all the way by the back corner. Now you want to grab it from the front and you want to work it around and lift it up slowly until you hit those clicks and getting loose from the back end. And then you want to slide it towards yourself. You can go ahead and clean up this if you need to. All right. Down here you can see the RAM and the hard drive, the Wi-Fi board, and the nasty fan right there. First, we need to disconnect the fan. We're going to pull up this jack up. Disconnect the jack. We're going to remove the three screws for the heat, the heat sink right here for the CPU. They have a little C lock on them, so the screws will not come out entirely. You just have to rotate until it becomes loose. And then you're going to lift up, wiggle it around, and then maybe one more twist, and it should get itself released. There's the old thermal paste right there. So we're going to grab a little bit of workshop towel right here. And we are going to put an alcohol. And we are going to clean up the thermal paste. All right, and clean up the heat sink. And I'm going to go over how you can clean up the fan right now. So you can take this outside with a uh, compressed air or vacuum you can clean up and with a toothbrush clean up the whole thing in here i'm going to lift it to one side and we're going to put our workshop towel in here and service up the fan and lubricate the fan so we're going to go ahead and remove the two screws right here these are phillips double zero so go ahead and remove these screws Now you're going to lift up the fan, but the fan has a little tape on it, so we need to rip off this tape right here. Okay, there's a tiny clip here, you want to open up this clip and pull out the fan from here. Just slide it out. There's one more tiny tape right here. I forgot to rip this apart. There we have it. Now you see all this dust right in there. You need to remove everything and clean it up. And you can wash it out if you want and dry it out nicely. All right, so what we need to do is take it outside and use a toothbrush, clean it up nicely, blow some air through here, and I'll be back right after this. Okay. Now I took it outside, I cleaned up as much as I could. You can do a way better job than me if you take your time. I just did it, kind of rushed it in, but you can clean it up nicely and use a toothbrush, clean up even better. All right, now we're going to put it back together. So first we need to slide down these triggers right through here in the corner. So bring it upward, put it down, and that's it. You don't need to put tape over, there's, the, there's not enough gap there for the air to escape. But you can put a gaffer's tape if you need to, but there's no need. I don't see the point for that. Alright, then you want to put the two screws that you removed from the top side. There we have it. Now we're going to put this to one side. And we have cleaned up the motherboard. And we're going to grab the thermal paste. We're going to put a tiny line on the CPU. Okay. Now we're going to grab the cleaned one. And we're going to put the heat sink right on top, it's straight down. Once you put it down, do not lift it up again. And you want to screw it down. Green number one. And then number two and number three. Don't forget to put back in the fan, it's very important. 
you'll find only jack goes in one way. So plug that in. Once you're done with that, you can grab the palm rest, bring it, slide it right under the screen, align it, and then you want to pinch the top and the bottom cover together, and you want to hit those clicks. Once you hit those, uh, it's in place. You want to lift up the jack connector in there and put the slide down the flex cable, it's right over. And then you want to push down this cover right in there so it holds it in place. Same thing in here, lift up a little bit. So the flex cable can go in easy and then push down the cover to lock it in place. Put down the DVD drive if you clean it up. And uh, go ahead and put the screws in here first. The short screw is for the DVD drive. So put the short one right on the DVD and the one on the metallic cover. And the two one that goes on the plastic side. Once you did this one right here, now you want to grab the keyboard, put it on up like this, face down, this side up, bring it down in 45 degree towards the jack. And I'm gonna use uh, tweezers. Now you want to slide down the ear lobes right in there because I'm gonna go over this. One. It has a tiny ear lobes in here on the side. You want to have these two ear lobes going right inside the jack in 45 degree all the way in. So I'm going to help it out, push it all the way in. And once it, I see this ear lobe in and that one in, now I'm going to simply push over and lock down the flex cable. Grab the keyboard, make sure the bottom of the keyboard, this triggers right here, has to go under the palm rest, so I scoop it right underneath. Bring it over and put it like that. You don't want to push down, it's not going to go in. You need to put a guitar pick or opening tool right between them. And then you want to push down and then lift this one up and it's going to go in place. Same thing, between those, put it in. I'm putting it right in there, push it down and then lift it up. And that will make the trigger slide down way easier. And there we have the keyboard in place. We are almost done. Now we're going to flip it over. And we're going to put first a short screw right in here. And the last thing will be to put the rest of the screws on the bottom cover. I hope you guys like this video and it helps you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and click the like if you want to support the channel. Just going to finish up putting up the bottom screw.